welcome back so in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the glam light palette it's one of the new palettes that they just came out with and i just received it the other day but since it was my birthday i kind of really didn't open it or anything like that so if you want to see what it looks like just keep on watching All right, guys, so this is the box that it came in. Um, I have to move like everything out of the way because I have so much stuff on this table. I actually really need to get a new table, like a bigger one, because this table is just not doing it for me anymore. And honestly, like I feel like I wanna like switch everything around now because I just I don't know like I honestly I don't like the mirror in the back um I can't really use it so I was like I was thinking about just turning around and making this my um my actual like recording part over here but then at the same time it's like I don't know I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do oh man I didn't even notice that they like taped here too I gotta like cut this open. Guys, I had such a good birthday. I had such a good time with friends and it was just an amazing birthday. I had my friends come over. We all went to the sunflower field. I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see. I did post one a picture on my makeup page but i'll post one up here so you guys can see it i'm trying not to move my table so much because um i keep uh wobbling the table so it keeps moving my mirror and that's why i kind of need a new table for here but it is the most cutest little palette ever i love it because they send you what their like pr kind of box looks like um and so this is the glam lights um ice cream palette yeah it's their ice cream palette i kind of um wish that they released this during the actual summer because now it's like fall and i'm not really into bright colors anymore because like i don't feel like it goes with the season it's just me that's just how i am and since i love the fall like i would rather have like fall colors that's why like i keep like moving towards like fall colors especially with the madison palette that i had just recorded and like all these other palettes but yeah, I guess this is, it is what it is. All right, so they have like this little plastic thing here, which is actually good. It makes it like, I feel like more protective. It sounds weird, but I'd rather have this on than not because I don't want my palette like, I don't know, like you never know, falling off and shit. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's so cute. It's in like a little ice cream truck. Um, and then this is what the palette looks like that is adorable wait so this is what it looks like i'm just gonna put this to the side so this is what it looks like it like these things move i guess i don't know if you can see it they move a little bit but that's so cute all right, now let's see. Wow, it did come with this. So it has, these are the colors. All right, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use because these are a lot. They do have some colors here that are kind of like a fall like set, which is right here. Um, I wish they had more. But I guess, you know, it is what it is. Um, 
so i do like these colors a lot but again i most likely won't be using these anytime soon i probably wait to use these they'll most likely be used in the spring because i feel like spring is more of the pastel colors so i probably won't use these colors i'm honest honestly i probably won't use this palette again until the spring because i don't see this as like a fall look you may be able to like find a way to put like fall in there but i don't know like this color would be this uh shimmer will be nice for the um like winter like around the holidays um this color could probably be used around the holidays um and of course like these colors are good for the the fall so i don't know let's just get right into this i'm going to i already had primed my eyes i did my eyebrows um so i'm gonna just see i'm not gonna do two different looks i normally do but um i'm gonna probably go out later today to dinner and i don't want to wear weird colors and plus i'm wearing this so i kind of want to like match to this so i'm probably i'm gonna go in with red velvet oh that's so cool i got a red velvet cake last night i love red velvet if anybody knows um so i'm gonna go into red velvet um and i'm gonna see what that looks like this palette is kind of hard to hold because like i don't i don't know so i'm gonna just grab my mirror and i'm just gonna do the my windshield wiper technique and hope for the best wow that's really bright oh but it kind of fans out into like I really do love their palettes though they are very like their palettes are very creamy very like like pigmented they go on really nice i do like this and like i didn't go on for like go on too much with it and it still like popped up really nice so i do like it it they do come out with nice stuff so so yeah i really do like their palettes they do they do have nice payout they have nice um pigment it goes on very nice oh and this palette retails for 45 dollars um but you could get their discount code and use glam 15 to get um some money off of it it did kind of take a while before it got here so i don't know whether or not it was just because i ordered it the day that it launched but yeah it took a while for it to get here uh, for my mirror i wasn't trying to do all that all right so I'm gonna go in with, I kind of want to like use pumpkin, like it's calling out to me, which is this shade right here. Um, so I think I'm probably just gonna use that and I'm gonna go, my back itches so bad. I think I'm gonna go in with my bling brush, uh, the Rose Gold Collection. It's E2. And I'm going to um, use this for my outer corner right here. So I feel like that definitely came out a little bit more um, nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's really popping up. Um, 
yeah so I don't think that really popped up I don't yeah I don't think that really popped up all right so that shadow I don't think it's gonna show up on me because it's kind of like I don't know it's not really popping up so I'm gonna just go in with a butter pecan which is this color right here and I'm gonna put that in my outer corner Let's see if that pops up it's funny because um, on my birthday I wanted to use um, the only reason why I'm saying this is because the shadow is like literally falling on my lashes instead of my eyes so but I wanted to put lashes on like the house of lashes and I never did all right so I may have to go in with something um darker so I'm gonna probably go in with chocolate which is like a dark brown color I'm not lifting this up right now um so I think I'm just gonna go in again with my E2 brush from Morph I mean from Bling Brushes and take it out around this on that side with this on this side okay just so you guys can see what I'm doing so I'm just putting this right here For some reason it's just not working with me today I don't know maybe it's just not a makeup day for me so I don't know about anybody else but are you guys having trouble downloading um, the iOS whatever for the Apple watch I think I have like the first series I'm not sure it's either the first or the second series and it's not letting me download the new like update for it and it's like if you don't update your watch it's harder it doesn't want to like sync with your phone so I don't know what to do and like you know Apple sometimes is useless so I don't know what to do Okay, so I feel like I'm about to take back my words on this palettes, their palettes, because it's not working. They're not applying very well. Don't know why. And I know it's not because of the brushes. I know that. I even tested it out with another you didn't see this part but I tested it out with another brush and it's not the brush so I may have to take back my word like this is not applying very well but like 
there's somebody on TikTok that I had to like literally block from being able to see their stuff because I don't know how to like do that whole where because like sometimes in certain like apps or certain like social medias you can like stop from seeing them like on the the feed i had to block this girl because there was some stuff on there that i did not like what she was saying and it's not because like i don't like it's not that i don't uh, like want her to express how she feels about a certain religion but like i'm catholic and there's stuff that she was saying on there that she thinks is the reason like you know how every religion has their own different way of interpreting the bible or you know their own god but i just like i didn't like the way that she was like basically talking shit about the religion but it's like you can have your own religion but just respect other people's religion like i'll respect yours as long as you can respect mine you think a different way i think a different way but don't bash the religion like your religion thinks a certain way and so does mine but that doesn't mean that you can like that i don't like that like you think you're a hierarchy because of your religion that's not how that like no don't do that especially on social media like that that people see that whatever okay so i think i don't know i'm kind of like worried that this is not gonna like look right so i'm gonna go in with pecan perlane i don't know what the hell that is this i never even heard of that topping but i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna just use my finger and that's what that looks like and uh, put this right in the middle Am I rubbed? I think I, um, when I was cleaning my makeup off last night, I think I rubbed my eyes way too hard. And now it, like, has, like, that feeling like I cut it. I should do like a halo look or a regular look because it's bad enough that these shadows aren't really like applying very well right now I don't know maybe it's just me maybe it's because I can't really see it so I think I'm just gonna do a halo looking eye look. I'm gonna grab a smaller one, which is my bling brush from the Starry Collection, is E14. And I'm gonna just take chocolate again and put that in my inner corner. Yeah, it's not going on very well. I honestly don't know why, so... I don't know. I'm gonna try another brush. It's still not applying very well. So, okay. And it's not going on how I want it to. 
think I have to just pat it on, I guess. All right, so. I ended up wiping all the other stuff off because I am not beat for it. I will explain that in a second, but I ended up going in with the 35C um, Everyday Cheek Palette from Morphe and I completely forgot to even like start recording this, but um, I did go in with this color first. I went in with this color first and I put that all over my lid. Windshield wiper motion using my JH35, I mean JH30 brush. And then I went in with my Bling brush E2 from the Rose Gold collection. And then I went in with this color right here on my outer corner. That's pretty much all I did so far. So you didn't really miss much. <laughs> Hopefully I um just I keep I kept forgetting to press record and I was watching Sister Sister so it kind of like just went out the window. But all right, so that's pretty much all I did. I um I fanned this out. Um so yeah, that's all I did. I'm gonna just put a little bit more. I was gonna just do one eye and then do the other side on camera, but what happened was is that I'm so used to doing both eyes that I keep forgetting and I'm just get I'm trying to get used to it so that way it just cuts off time. So this video is already gonna be really long. So I was trying to like cut some time off. So I'm gonna actually just do the um, same thing. I'm going to do a halo eye. So I'm gonna put this on that side as well using my uh, Bling Brush Starry Collection E14. And yeah, so I'm just gonna pretty much do a halo eye like I was trying to do with the other palette. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Just gonna go in here. You're gonna hear my dog. He's loud. So I just went in really lightly right now. So usually when I do the halo eye, I um I don't crease, like I don't I don't put I don't do like a cut crease in the middle, like one of those things where you use your uh your base whatever you want to call it like the concealer I don't do that I don't find that useful because I know people used to do that I don't know if anybody else still does it but I just make sure that I fan this out right here and come in halfway and then I come up here and kind of connect those two colors together and yeah Okay, so now I am gonna go in with, um, I kind of want to use this right here, but they're not as like really good with their, um, their pressed glitters. So I don't really want to use that. So I may, I wanted to use it, but I think I'm gonna go in with this, this one and where is it? this one right here in the middle. I'm gonna do both of them. So I'm gonna take the first one first, put this in the middle. Okay, do that and then I'm gonna go into that gold color and put it right on top. Just to put those two together. Bam. Okay, so that's what that's looking right now. 
I'm going to take again the bling brush E14 from the Story Collection and I'm going to apply a little bit more to my inner corner to blend those two colors together. Now it is starting to do the um, whole thing where you when you do the glitter or the shimmer on top and then put some shadow next to it it's starting to do that line so just be mindful that when you do use this that you try to apply as much uh, shadow on first and then go in with the glitter so that way you don't have to go back and forth so just keep that in mind why that's happening now more with their palettes because it never used to do that before so I don't know whether or not they are changing their formula on their shimmers but yeah all right so that is pretty much all I'm gonna do because I'm gonna leave it like that because I really do like the way that this is coming out. I'm just gonna take my JH30 brush again and I'm not gonna go in with any more um, shadow. I'm just gonna blend this part right here just to blend it out a little bit. I usually just do this with the remaining shadow that is on there too. I don't necessarily need to go on. The only thing with doing this is that sometimes it takes the shadow, the glitter off. So you have to like, well the shimmer in general, it, you, you have to like go back in and put it in there. And that's it so yeah I'm going to finish the rest of my face off camera and I will be back okay so this is the completed look from the everyday chick palette from morphe so let's talk about this I'm so far not liking it at all the shadows do not blend very well um i don't know what, what happened i'm gonna try it out again but maybe this time use these colors i don't know if there's like a special type of like base you're supposed to use instead of using concealer to set your eyes i'm not sure but i'm not really feeling it i don't like it i probably most likely not gonna reach out for it again until like most likely this spring but because again once i said like this is more of a spring colors and i'm not gonna wear this all the time now so i don't know i am not really a fan of this one like their other palettes are amazing like i'm not saying anything bad about um those palettes but this palette i'm not really a fan of so i i don't know maybe it's it just really depends on you whether or not you want to go ahead and purchase this and check it out for yourself but for me it's not one of my favorites of theirs so i think i'm most likely not going to be using this again so yeah i ended up just using the outer layer um the outer shadow for my under eyes and then i went in with my two mascaras which i ended up using i switched it up and started using the roller lash from benefit and then the big monsieur from langhorn langholm so yeah and then i didn't put any foundation on or any of that i just put concealer on and then i set it with my derma blend the original um and i went in with my lunar beauty i went in with this palette and i went in with my lunar beauty um cheek palette which i used 
this color right here and um, I ended up just using the Huda, the Hula bronzer and the cookie highlight and yeah so that's pretty much all I did I set my face with my only this with one this time I only went in with my Urban Decay this time so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be back very soon if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already please subscribe and click the notification button down below to get all my future uploads so until next time bye